imagine. imagine. Imagine that you've reached your goal. Imagine that you're now extremely successful. You really have achieved what you wanted to achieve. Maybe it's becoming a successful entrepreneur. Maybe it's, go, it's becoming it's to becoming a, um, an impactful coach. Maybe you want to be promoted. Maybe it's about delivering a motivational <clears throat> speech. So imagine yourself. Try to see where you are. Try to see who's around you. How do you feel? How do you behave now that you're successful? What has changed? How did you manage to reach this goal in the first place? What are the different steps that you took to reach this goal and be confident and successful? So try to really see yourself and create the movie of your success and your the hero of this movie. Try to really use all your senses, visualization, sensing, feeling, all your senses to really create a vivid representation of what you want to achieve. So that's the power of visualization. It's extremely powerful and impactful. It's used by many athletes, politics, and anyone willing to change their life. And as coaches, it's an amazing tool that you can use to help your client reach a goal. So let's look at what is visualization, why it works, and how to use it in your practice. I'm Geraldine, I'm the founder of Go Master Coach. I train coaches to thrive in their career and in their life. So let me share my screen. Okay, give me one sec. Yeah, here we are. Okay, I'm not sure you can see what I want to share now. So give me one sec. I'm going to try that again. Here we are. So I'm going to share my screens and we're going to, I'm going to walk you through the power of visualization. And I'm going to give you some very practical techniques to impact your clients and to help them change and grow. So visualization technique. I love this picture uh, of this lady really thinking about her success before she has even started racing. So I use a lot of visualization, as I mentioned, in my personal life and professional life. Uh, when I do triathlon, I always, always visualize very precisely the different um, <clears throat> part of the triathlon. I visualize myself swimming. I visualize myself uh, swimming in the middle of hundreds of people, managing to overcome this anxiety when you're in the middle of lots of people and you get <laughs> knocked and you get uh, you have to find your way. So I manage myself overcoming those obstacles. I manage myself. I manage to see uh, myself uh, shifting to the bicycle, the biking part. I can see myself riding the 20 or 40 kilometers. Uh, I manage myself. I manage to see myself, sorry, uh, running. This is the most difficult part for me, the, the running part. And usually I'm very exhausted, so I can see myself exhausted. And I can see myself finding the mental drive to finish a race. And so I really rehearse this race and it helps me a lot. It helps me not only for sport, but it also helped me in my professional life, uh, delivering public speech or selling a contract to a big company. It really helped me feel more confident and feel more impactful. Now, what is visualiz visualization? It's the practice 
of affecting the outside world by changing your thoughts and using imagination to experience new behaviors and events. So there's two types of visualization, cognitive visualization, where you engage your rational brain and you see the different steps used to reach your goal. It's mainly focused on the process. We call that as well process visualization. And there's a motivational visualization where you focus on the outcome, the benefits of achieving a goal. It's really a seeing the reward. So cognitive visualization focus on the process and motivational visualization focus on the outcome. Both are really impactful. Cognitive visualization um, is more impactful than motivational visualization according to many surveys, but the most impactful is when you combine the two. Why does it work? Let's look at our brain first and let's look at two parts of our brain. If we were to divide our brain in the primal and rational brain, this is how we would do that. If you look at the orange yellow part of the brain, it's what we call the primal brain, responsible for emotions, instinct, and it's uh, the part that is less conscious. And the cognitive part of the brain, the blue part, the rational brain, the prefrontal cortex, is mainly responsible for our planning, the logical, the rational uh, way of thinking. Now, why is it important to understand how our brain works? Because when we visualize, we engage our primal brain. And our primal brain is the brain that will help us change. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine you want to lose weight. You want to lose five kg. So you will use your rational brain to define a plan uh, to uh, decide to stop eating sugar and to exercise three times a week, for instance. That's the rational brain planning. 90% of the time, what's gonna happen? Nothing or not much. Why? Because our primal brain is not engaged. It's not enough to have a clear plan, clear milestone. We all know how to lose weight. But why are so many people overweight? Because there are some blockers, barriers, because our primal brain is not engaged and convinced that we need to lose weight. So that's why it's so important to engage a primal brain. How do we do that? There's many different ways, but one that works very efficiently is visualization. It's we will engage all our senses, all our emotions to convince our cognitive brain that's the right choice. So why does it work so well as well is because when we visualize, we use the same part of the brain that it used to do and to act. So engaging this part of the brain will be like as if we rehearse what we want to do in real life. So it will, and once we do it, we have the, uh, we feel like we've done that before and it's easier for us to do it and to reach our goal. So the rational brain, as I mentioned before, is the brain that we use, the part of the brain that we use to set goals. And we call that the goal setter or the go setter. The primal brain is more the go getter, the goal getter. This is our subconscious part of our brain that will help us overcome uh, the barriers and obstacles that we have to reach our goals. Now, when do you use when to use visualization in coaching. So there's many different ways to use visualization. The first one is to clarify a goal. It will help you engage all your senses. What do you want to achieve? In six months time, you want to change career. What could be a good outcome? Where do you want to be? Imagine you don't have any constraints, time, money. What would you do? 
What are the values that are important for you? Imagine an environment where you thrive. What would it be? So you can help people really define a bit more precisely what they want to achieve. So there's three techniques to anchor a goal. <clears throat> One is what we just mentioned, to visualize it. So the lady here on the left. The other one is to create a vision board. Uh, just find picture of what you want to achieve. And the more you see it, the more your brain will be engaged. And the third part is to journal. It's also very powerful to write down what you want to achieve and the life you desire. And again, why does it work to visualize and to uh, see your success? Uh, it's again, because when you visualize a goal, it's like training the brain to really do it because we use the same part of the brain to do and to visualize. Now, when to use visualization is also to develop your focus and energy and your intention. Let's like have a look at this video of Jim Carrey. Okay, okay. Obviously you, knew, obviously you knew somewhere inside yourself that you were destined to be famous because I think it's a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. Do you, all, do you all read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night. and visualize seeing yourself as... Yeah, I would visualize, uh, yeah, I would this visualize- This is broken poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work mm -hmm. or whatever that is. And and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This was in like 1987, 85. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and didn't I you... had nothing at that time. So it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Uh, and they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Okay. And so you would get this from what? Self-help books or whatever? Yeah. Uh -huh. Self-help section. Self-help section. They yeah. renamed it the Jim Carrey <laughs> wing. <laughs> so didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered. And I gave myself uh, five years or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated at Thanksgiving, 1995, and I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving, 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself like, yeah, yeah. visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's that the thing. You can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> All right. So visualization can really give you the energy and the focus huh, that you need to achieve your goal. Uh, it will help you be in the flow. It will help you feel what it is huh, to reach your goal. And uh, if we... It's really the, about the law of attraction as well. Huh? The law of attraction is... Having those thoughts, huh? uh, uh, having those thoughts repeatedly, and they have the power to manifest in your life. The more you think about a goal, the more you feel uh, the success of this goal, uh, the more you will attract opportunities that can make these desires a reality. I use that a lot, and it, for me in my life, it really works. The more you think about a goal, the more you think about the behavior, the more you will act on it and your goal will uh, be reached. I love this sentence from uh, Tony Robbins, where focus goes, energy flows. So when you have more clarity about your ideal outcome, it will give you a sense of, a sense of a mission and energy it will engage uh, you to reach this goal much more. So what is your goal? How can you clarify it? How can it give you the energy? I have a very clear goal of where I want to bring Go Master Coach and that's why I'm able to work so hard with so much passion on it. Uh, and I, will, I know I will reach this goal because I have the passion, the energy needed to reach this goal. 
and I can also uh, attract people that want to reach this goal with me. So what else? So you can use visualization to clarify goal, to increase your energy, your focus, and also to see what to do, to, to, to understand where what are the steps required to reach this goal. And again, there's two types of visualization, process and outcome. And there's been a study uh, in 1999 uh, studying students. One group of students were uh, had to visualize uh, the process to do well at the exam. So it was more on the habits. Another group of students has to really uh, focus on the outcome, getting a good grade and visualize that. And can you guess the outcome of this study? Well, the participant in the process focus perform better than the other one focusing only on the outcome. All right, so that's the first uh, outcome of this study. So it's, it's more impactful to really see the steps versus only the outcome. Yet, what works the best is when you combine both the step to reach this outcome and the success, the benefits of reaching the goal. So as a coach, it's important to use both and to navigate both to help your clients. Okay, another way to use visualization is to see the impact of your limiting beliefs. So what I want you to do now is to pick one of your limiting beliefs. It can be, I have to work very hard to succeed. It can be, I have to know, to become an expert in so many different fields to be respected. It can be, I'm not good enough. It can be, so pick one of your strong limiting beliefs. One that has been here for a long time, that is very ingrained in you. And what I want you to do now is to close your eyes and to visualize yourself in one month. Visualize yourself in one month. You have this limiting belief here. It's still very present. What do you do? What is your work? What, where are you? How are your, how are your relationships? So try to visualize yourself in one month's time. You still have this little voice in your head, this critic. What are the things you do and you don't do because of that in one month's time? Now let's move in one year. In one year, you still have this belief. It's really annoying. It's still here. It's still in your head, in your body. What, where are you in your life? What are the activities you do? How are your relationship with your family, your friends, your colleagues? What do you regret in one year? Now, if we move five years down, we are in 2029. You still have this limiting belief. It's part of you. How do you behave? What do you do? How is your life? So really try to picture yourself in five years' time. Now, let's move to 20 years and try to see your life. How is it? What do you do? Who's around you? What have you achieved? are not achieved and try to picture your life, how you feel in 20 years time with this limiting belief. Now I want you to take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. And I want to give your younger self, the one in 2024, an advice. What is 
future self will tell your present self. All right, and please come back, open your eyes and write, take a paper and a pen and write this advice for yourself. So we did an activity, can be pretty emotional. Uh, so this activity is meant to make you realize that you don't want to waste this time. It's meant to create a sense of urgency. Because, you know, having this limiting belief tomorrow in one week, the impact is not so important. But keeping it is something. And if you keep it for, for one month, two months, one year, five years, ten years, you don't want that. You will regret many things. And you don't want to be there. So it's really also creating a clear image of the pain of the status quo. What if you not don't change? What's going to happen? What are you going to regret? So we're doing that to create this sense of urgency and help you change now. Okay, self-talk analysis. So, so that's also um, as part of the limiting belief. We have this inner critic. So whenever you have negative self-talk, it can be a great way to understand and visualize those self-talk and change them and reframe them in positive talk. Confidence building. Visualization is an amazing tool to build your confidence. Just by visualizing oh, visualizing yourself confident, behaving confidently, being proud about yourself in a certain situation will help you. So create a movie of your life and write it down if it helps. Okay, I'm going to move this one. <clears throat> when to use visualization, you can use it on a daily basis as well to create new neural pathways, to create new habits. We know that our brain is plastic and that we can create new neural pathways, but it requires repeated focused attention to create those neural pathways, repeated focused attention. We know that doing and visualizing use the same part of the brain. So you can leverage that to create neuro, new neural pathways faster by rehearsing in your brain what you want to achieve or the behavior you want to develop. And the more you visualize, the faster your pathways will be created. A study conducted in the US at the University of Chicago was done where they split basketball players in three groups. The first group was asked to practice throws every day for one hour. Second group was asked just to visualize themselves making throws, free throws. Okay, and the third group did nothing. The results were really mind blowing. The first group improved by 24%, which is great. The second group improved by 23% without touching any ball. And the third group did not improve, which was expected. So just by visualizing, it already helped. So players improved a lot. And one of the examples of uh, visualization, Michael Phelps, uh, is one of his secrets, is really to use mental imagery a lot. And visualizing everything, even the obstacles, even you know, visualizing obstacle like goggles filled with water and just trying visualizing how to overcome them. <clears throat> so it's really about repetition, repetition and repetition to create new neural pathways and to become, uh, to change our behaviors. It's also a great way to reinforce a belief uh, any type of belief. If I'm confident, I can do that. So you keep on thinking about that. And then 
you will strongly believe in it and you will act on it and it will create the result you're expect expecting, which will reinforce the belief. So this is a self-fulfilling prophecy and this is also the success cycle. <clears throat> so just to wrap it up, what are the key points about visualization? If you can see it, you can believe it, it and then you can make it happen. And again, it's a mental practice and you can help your client develop these new habits of visualizing. If you walk them through different visualization, they will see the power of it and they will use that for themselves on a daily basis. Also, by seeing where what you want your life to be, you can begin to change your perspective, your energy and your thoughts. And it will impact your mental state, your physical state, your physiology, and it will change your behaviors and it will change the outcomes. And it will help you be more confident in building a plan and reaching your goals. So please, after this webinar, just take some time for yourself. Just breathe, uh, breathe in and breathe out and just try to take five minutes to visualize what you want to reach, to visualize the outcome and also to visualize the different steps to reach this outcome. Thank you for your attention and see you soon. Bye.